Hey YouTube, Alex here with Alex's Agamids, and I have gotten a lot of feedback on my video regarding how to set up a Zilla Power Center, and in response to that feedback, I figured I'd do a part two where I can go over some troubleshooting details because chances are, if you're watching this video, you may have tried to set up your power center. You may have followed the guidelines I listed out in part one. However, there's a couple things regarding this product that I started having to reply to comments to because it just, I don't know, honestly, it got repetitive saying the same thing over and over again in a comment. So I figured I'd make a video. So I just took one of mine. I've got a handful of these from back in the day when Zilla sponsored a few videos of mine. In a sense, you know, right off the bat, you can see this is the default programming. The power strip is set to off. It says it's Monday and it's 12 in the morning. One of the things that I have told people is if you program your power center, right? You go to the program mode, you set your on and off. We're going to go back to the clock here. So like I said, let's see, you're going to hold down clock. We'll set it to Sunday. And then, like I said, right now it is 2.46. So we'll just set it to 2.46 p.m. for the sake of the video. And I overshot it, so we'll just let it run through again. Hold down a minute. Make sure you're holding down the clock every time you want to program it. Okay, cool. So now we're set it to our current time. So one problem people have is if you set your program, let's just say I want my lights on at 7 a.m., Monday through Friday, and I want them off at 7 p.m. So right, we, we've got our weekly schedule set. We'll go back to the clock. What'll happen is, is that even if you click auto to rotate, sometimes, to be honest, these, they take 24 hours to start. So that can be a minor annoyance. So how can we fix that? Well, somebody was kind enough to comment that these thermostats, so we're gonna shut it off, have a backup battery. So this one clearly has a dead battery, and per the instructions on the back, I'm gonna unplug it from my outlet over here. And so what the battery does is, in a sense, it'll act as a way to save your default settings. So literally, I just take a flathead screwdriver. I don't like breaking my fingernails, so we'll, uh, we'll do that. You can see there's a little battery right here that you'd replace. Safety reasons, like I said, don't ever attempt to uh, to take this out with it being plugged because you'll be exposed to the electricity. So here's the battery that's inside. So if you find that yours is just dead and you want to have that backup battery option, this fits a LR44G battery. But again, I personally don't use the battery cover. And if you see by me taking off the battery, my camera goes into focus. As soon as I go to plug this in, the power strip will still run because the battery is this is just there as a backup for your savings, meaning since I took the battery out, you see all of my programming that I just did, it's gone. It reset to the default setting. So that's something that you can consider. The other thing that I wanted to emphasize to people, and this might sound stupid, but if you can see... This default is set to off on the power center. So even if you program it, you get your date and your time set up, unless you switch your clock to auto, your day and nighttime timers are not gonna be on. It's just literally going to be set to the night outlets, which is your off setting. It's weird, I don't know why Zilla did this. Personally, I feel like it should be, instead of on, for the daylight outlets and off for the night light outlets. They should see if they can get it so it says day and night. But if I'm being totally honest with you, and you know, Zilla has not sponsored this video, so I'm gonna give you my honest opinion here. You can buy a timer like this at Home Depot for half the price. So I'm guessing what they did is they just slapped their label on it, got these colored differently to make it easy so we can differentiate our constant power outlets and our day and night outlets. Like I said, Another thing to troubleshoot around is, you know, if you've got your timer set up, you're all programmed, but your lights are not turning on, just make sure that your mode is on auto. And as I said in the previous video, and as I said earlier in this video, if you're finding that your clock lights are not turning on, then all you have to do to make sure your reptile lights are on for a day is to just leave that on. 
manually switch it to auto, the lights will turn off. And then when I previously programmed this, I had the lights turn on at seven in the morning. By seven o'clock the next day, they will turn on and your clock will be set. But again, the battery is merely so you can have things backed up in case a power outage or a power surge. That is one of the nice things about timers like this. Is it is a built-in surge protector. So you don't have to worry about, like say if you have those little stick on, you know, dial timers that you turn and rotate and you plug that right into a wall. If you have a surge uh, happen in your electrical socket there, that could potentially be dangerous. So it is kind of convenient. And especially like if you're using these for turtles or I know people use these for fish tanks too. So you could have like a moonlight on the fish tank. You can have a daylight and then you can run all your filtration and your heat. You can actually mount those nice and flush inside a filter stand or something. So just a quick little video on troubleshooting the Zilla Power Center, you know, part two, if you will. Free, feel free to check out part one. I'll leave a card somewhere up here on YouTube's fancy features, but Feel free to comment down below if this video did not answer any of your further questions regarding this product. I've been using these for a while. I've got them still running on a handful of setups and I'll tell you guys, they just, they work great. It's maybe a little bit too complicated for a timer, but I really like it that say I can have a cage plugged in to the lights and then I can run a thermostat on the constant power for say a heat mat or I've got one of these actually that's in between a water dragon setup and my incubator. So the incubator is run on one of these and then my water dragon heat and UVB lights are run on that. So it's just a win-win situation and uh, it's something that hopefully y'all can incorporate into your reptile keeping setups, rooms, whatever you're using. So yeah, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Adios.